Hey guys, it is Logan Maestro here, and welcome to a very special episode of Hypixel Alert News. Now you guys, before today's episode gets started, I had a couple of things I wanted to mention. First of all, I have a Discord that is in the description, as always, where you can submit some news that happened during the week on Hypixel for some rewards. And I'm also pretty active in there as well, so if you want to drop by and say hi, that's totally cool as well. And also, you guys, lastly, I know a lot of you who watch my videos are not subscribed for whatever reason, so of course, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be much, much appreciated. It helps out what I do here, and of course, it keeps you informed on what's going on in the Hypixel network. Now with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our special episode today, and the reason it's special is because this week I'm only covering one story, and it's a big one. This is about Pickle and the big dupe situation. This is a story that's been talked about all over the Hypixel network for the past week, and there was just so much that went down. It deserves, I think, its own episode. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get into where it all started. Late last Wednesday night, P-Joke 1 made a four post titled Emergency Maintenance at February 6th, where he says due to a critical issue, Skyblock has been put into emergency maintenance, and we have limited access. And then, ladies and gentlemen, something absolutely crazy happened that nobody saw coming. YouTuber P he lost his rank, and it didn't take long for people to start posting on the forums about it, saying that he had advertised a duplication glitch. In fact, one user made a forum post titled about the dupe explanation, where he shows a picture of the chat log, where Pickle says, guys, if you're not wearing armor, right-click a backpack, it'll duplicate it. And then he further says it'll also remove one backpack. Now, of course, I did verify this chat log, because obviously it's just text there, you can't verify that, but we did have a screenshot here of the actual lobby that it took place in, and uh, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Now, as you guys can imagine, this had people talking. And a couple hours after the situation went down, Pinnacle tweeted out, saying, oh. And he then responded to himself, I'll clear up the situation soon, just sorting things out at the moment. And guys, just a few minutes after he made these tweets, Hypixel, aka Simon, responded to the first initial emergency post, saying this. Update 1, we have found and fixed the issue. Please be aware that many of you will be blocked from joining Skyblock for the next few hours. Even if you did nothing wrong, this is just to have better control and slowly investigate all of the players as we progress further. We know that 25,000 players logged on during that time and about 100 abused or accidentally did. The plan is to slowly work from 25,000 down to 100 in the next few hours and unblock you guys as we progress. Know that if you have not logged on at all during that time, you will have access as soon as we open the game. So as you can see, this was a serious issue on the Hypixel network. They had to shut down Skyblock for this and were working on it and slowly bringing people back into the game and it looks like about 100 people actually used this duplication glitch. Now, one rumor that was going around the Hypixel network is that billions of coins were duped on Skyblock and the economy was ruined and all that stuff. And, well, Simon personally decided to put this to rest, responding to a forum post saying, no billions were duped, we have the names of the people, don't panic. And just a couple hours after this, Simon responded to the initial emergency forum post saying, update 2, we have the written code to allow us to control the flow of players and we'll slowly be giving back access to the 25,000 block players over the next 24 hours. This is a very difficult and time-consuming process for us. We are human and we ask for your patience because this emergency happened late at night and it's currently 5.15 for some of us and we will be staying up for the next 24 hours to make sure this is fixed ASAP. And just 10 minutes after this, Pinnacle responded for the second time and this time it was an announcement on his Discord server saying, gonna make a video talking about the hopefully temp YouTube rank removal and Skyblock ban. Just wait, please. There's a lot of information that people don't fully know, so please Please don't go make rumors and spread them. I'll just say this before anything. I did not use the backpack dupe in any way. I didn't even know that it existed until after the maintenance. I know this won't make much sense now, but I'll explain it more later. Now instantly there were a couple main things to take away from this, and the first and most important thing is that he says he is innocent in all this, like he didn't know the glitch existed until after that emergency form post was made. And the second thing is that he announced in his form post that he is banned from Skyblock. And well, at 4 p.m. the next day, which was Thursday, Don Presso made a form post titled regarding the critical error of February 6th, where he says, hey everyone, this post is about what happened last night. We decided in the evening to fix a critical error. Sadly, the fix came with an even worse error. For a period of about 30 minutes in the middle of the night, players were able to put a backpack in their hotbar and equip it to their heads, assuming they were not wearing 
wearing a helmet. This caused the backpack menu to open at the same time it moved to their head, causing a lot of weird behavior. This allowed players to duplicate items, but also caused players to lose items if done by mistake. When we found out, we shut down Skyblock and blocked any players who logged in for a while before the issue started, so they couldn't trade duplicated items around. Until this very minute, these players have been unable to join Skyblock. We would like to take a moment to apologize regarding this. We're aware a lot of players who were not even aware of the issue were blocked, but please understand this was necessary to control what happened. We have since fixed the issue rather quickly too. However, we have been spending all these hours going through data to figure out who was affected and what was lost or gained, and this is the conclusion we have come to. A small number of players who have been blocked during this period of time had to have their data rolled back some time before the issue started. I can't exactly say what time, as this will differ between players. For some, it'll be be 45 minutes. For others, it might be an hour. That much is impossible for us to say. This will ensure any duplicated items are deleted, while any lost items are restored. At the time of this message, the rollbacks have been completed. There should no longer be any players blocked from playing Skyblock. In the future, we'll be working on a stronger backup solution to better ensure we can quickly react to these issues and get these things under control faster. We would again like to apologize for the amount of time this took. Now, at this point, it might have looked like the situation was coming to a close. You know, the bugs were fixed, the roll Rollbacks were being laid out so the people were getting their items restored, but ladies and gentlemen, this situation was far from over. Now, after this form post was made, there were no tweets from Pigacle or Simon about the issue. That is, of course, until that night. When ex-moderator AliMC tweeted out, saying, seriously, what is even the point of banning someone if they're given express permission by admins to ban evade? This just sends the message that YouTubers can bend the rules even when they do something to literally break an entire game and promote it for others to do as well. Showing a screenshot of signs from Pigacle Skyblock Island saying that admins allowed him to play on his alt for the next 30 days. And well, the next day, Simon responded, saying lack of information means you can't fully understand the decision. He actually did not dupe himself and many players were mentioning the exploits during the bug. So instead of banning a thousand people, we roll back to affected players. That being said, I still wanted to punish him. AliMCC replied, It isn't much of a punishment if he's allowed to bypass it on another account. Abusing an exploit in any other game mode results in a server ban. Why not in this instance? Hypixel responded, He did not exploit. That's the catch. He was only dumb enough to tell other players about it in public chat before we shut down the bug. Also, all of it was rollbacked and we assumed the blame. I saw people abuse and dupe millions. Would have taken months of staff work. Ali responded, Spreading information like that and describing how to exploit exploit usually leads to similar punishment though, doesn't it? Like when players get banned for encouraging others to hack? This seems like it may be why many folks think he got off easy, especially being allowed to ban evade. Simon responded, I checked the logs and he was not fully aware. It's a complex case and he was just very dumb in that moment, so it's a balance act. I mean, many players did it and we issued no punishments because it was too much and the rollback fixed everything. We had major issues behind the scenes and couldn't take down Skyblock fast enough. This is why we are taking the blame on this one. Just to note, some players abused too far and got banned. In Pig's case, he didn't do much, but was dumb enough to mention the bug. So it's like, eh, but so were many other players. I'm literally acting harsher on him. Also, this is my decision, not the staff. So your hatred towards the staff could be directed to me. They wanted to ban him. I overruled it. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, Simon tweeted out, saying, by the way, I can make good decisions, but also bad decisions sometimes. Hopefully Pinnacle doesn't disappoint me. So this almost turns things around, I think, because in one scenario, you're like, oh, Hypixel's really being harsh on Pinnacle and getting him like banned from Skyblock and whatnot and losing his YouTube rank. But in another situation, Simon saved him from getting banned. And six hours later, Simon made a final four post on the subject titled about the situation with Pinnacle. And ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot to get into, so without further ado, here is what he said. I know some of you guys are frustrated about the recent downtime in Skyblock, and I want to put the record straight before you blame the wrong people. I see a lot of topics, comments, and tweets about how we could punish Pinnacle, YouTuber, and I wanted to clarify a few things. The situation is, given the nature of the dupe bug that happened two days ago and how easy it was to reproduce, people were publicly talking about it before we got time to shut down the game, increasingly making it worse. When we finally had time to shut the game down, people were making topics blaming Pinnacle because he got his rank removed during the whole thing and was caught talking about the dupe in a lobby. He effectively broke my trust in him to be a responsible rank holder and I quickly removed his rank. 
with the YouTuber rank, I expect YouTubers to follow the rules. It's like a partnership. However, by removing his rank right away, people assumed he was responsible for the whole bug. Shutdown and delays. Reality is, our team is responsible at the end of the day for this one. We see dupe and exploits on a weekly basis, but this time our reaction time and shutdown procedure failed us. In this situation, banning or punishing anyone that talked about it made no sense because, well, pretty much everyone was talking about it because of our inability to act fast enough. Also, he was not abusing the bug, he was simply talking about it. Once. As you may know, with YouTube break comes extra responsibilities. Pinnacle should have reported to me via DM or simply not talked about it publicly which would have helped even if players were talking about it before him. So the staff and I decided to punish him. At first, the staff wanted to do Skyblock Lock for several weeks and remove the rank for several months. On the other hand, I wanted him to only lose the rank because we decided to not lock slash ban regular players anyway and I thought to remove the rank was big enough given how important it is for YouTubers. It is effectively going to affect his personal income. It's a big punishment in itself. That being said, you can see how difficult it was for us to apply a proper punishment given the nature of this issue, rules, and unique situation that we were dealing with. I then made the decision myself to remove his rank, Skyblock lock his account for several days, and let him play on all so that he could continue making videos. I thought it was a good balance, but the community did not agree, stating that alt should not be allowed to avoid a Skyblock lockout like it says in the actual rules. I agree I should have followed the rules and not allowed alts. That being said, his new punishment is a few days of Skyblock lockout, no Skyblock alts allowed, and no YouTube break for a full month. No other players have gotten punished for this bug, other than extreme cases of course. However, I feel with the YouTube rank, he has extra responsibilities towards the community, and I had to come with a proper punishment, even if he did not use the bug to his advantage. As a final note, I want to say that Pinnacle is a good dude with a great channel, and he has been helping us all grow the community by making useful and funny content. He should not be hated on. He did a dumb thing, and that's fine. We all do dumb things. I really hope for him that this is a turning point where he will become more responsible with the rank in the future. Ultimately, the bug is our fault and no one else should be blamed. It was late and decided to roll a simple patch that ended up breaking the game and causing this mess. Thank you all for reading. I want to be honest and transparent with the community, and given how I flip-flopped on the punishment, I felt like you guys deserve better content. Wow, that has got to be one of the longest forum posts I think I've ever read on Hypixel Alert, but one thing is pretty clear to see from this forum post, and that is that Hypixel and Pinnacle are not seeing eye to eye on this whole situation. On one hand, Pinnacle is saying that he's innocent and all this that he didn't even know the dupe existed until after the emergency form post was made. On the other hand, Hypixel is like, look man, you make mistakes, we all make mistakes, you learn from it, and you don't do it again. And well, that night after the form post was released, Pinnacle made a YouTube video on the situation, titled The Dupe Situation Explained. And in the video, he explains how the whole situation started, saying this. Basically, the admins were rolling out a fix to fix the uh, slime hack glitch. So basically, they made it so if you right click a backpack, let's say this profile is a backpack, if I were to go right click it, it would also go on my head. So not only would it change the slot it's in, it would also open the GUI. Now, this caused a dupe glitch, a very broken dupe glitch. And I did not know about this dupe glitch until after the maintenance. Keep that in mind. So basically, I went into a random lobby. I know it was not lobby one. People are thinking it was to, like, get it more noticed or something, I think. So I was in a random lobby, and I said, guys, if you're not wearing armor, right-click a backpack, it'll duplicate it, and it'll also remove the backpack. So let me, let me explain these things. So, first of all, the reason I said those three things is not because I wanted to advertise a dupe, because that actually ended up being very similar to what the dupe glitch was, but because I basically wanted a reaction, alright? So the idea was that they would right-click the backpack, and then it'd go on their head, and they're like, no, where'd my backpack go? It's not in my hotbar, and then they just look in their inventory, and it's right there. Now, I didn't get any reactions out of this, but what I did get is, uh, me accidentally promoting a duplitch, basically. For the bit that says it'll duplicate it, and then it'll remove the backpack, it was intended to be bait to get them to try it. So, like, the original intention was because I wanted them to see the backpack disappear, and then maybe say something in the chat, like, where'd my backpack go? So, it was just, it was bait to get them to try it. Like, duplication was the first thing I thought of, because it's, like, the thing that everyone wants to know how to do, because who, who doesn't want to... Get free items even though if 
you know, it's bannable and they'll probably get banned. Now both Simon and Don Presto's forum post slightly talked about this, but the initial patch that started all of this came from trying to fix a slime hat glitch. Basically there's this glitch with this slime hat and I'm not gonna get into it because I'm not too sure if it's fixed yet or not, but basically it's been a big thing on the server and well, they decided to try to fix it and it created unintentionally this backpack glitch. And the last thing to take away from Pinnacle's video is that he says that regardless of whether he'd advertised it or not, he thinks that this still would have been a problem. Roll it. So I want to make a point here. I still think the dupe would have spread fairly quickly even if I was not involved. One thing I do want to say is, you know, because Simon made a bunch of tweets in the past hour, he basically said that a lot of people were mentioning the dupe glitch during the time. And honestly, I've got to agree with him here. I mean, I don't play Skyblock too much personally, but from what I know, backpacks are a pretty common thing, and so I think that maybe it wouldn't have been just as big of a deal, but I think it still would have got some attention. And honestly, I think that this glitch could have been even more problematic if Pinnacle had not advertised it on accident. Because if people were slowly finding out about this glitch on Skyblock, then more and more people were just casually getting into the glitch and duping stuff over hours and hours of time and then Hypixel would have a much bigger problem of trying to roll back hours and hours of time rather than instantly being known to the problem due to this advertising glitch. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it would have gotten stopped at the same time. I don't know guys. This is a pretty controversial topic if you can already tell. Guys, let me know what you think of this whole thing in the comments below. But with that ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the news this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, once again, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then you want to subscribe to the channel with those notifications on. Of course, I'll be your host, Lego Maestro, keeping you informed on what's going on. Well, my voice is dead from recording this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. With that, Hypixel Alert now over 74.1 thousand subscribers. Oh, oh, also, one last thing before I end off. Guys, I'm going to have a double episode special where tomorrow I'm going to upload another episode and that's going to cover everything else that happened during the Hypixel Networks week that wasn't the Pinnacle situation. So guys, you'll want to stay tuned for that. And of course, again, subscribing will help you out. And let me tell you guys, there was a lot of drama and some crazy stuff that happened during the week. You're not going to want to miss it. Guys, once again, now over 74.1 thousand subscribers and I will see you next time.